Hey folks, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to tell you how to set up Auto Pan in Reason. It is really easy to do. There are at least three different methods, although with everything in Reason, there's probably a lot more ways to do it than this. So I'm going to show you each of these methods in increasing level of complexity. Uh, it depends partly on which version of Reason you're on. You might not have all of these features if you're on an earlier version of Reason. So that's why I want to show you all three. Before we go farther though, I do want to let you know I've got a free Reason cheat sheet that'll help you learn all of the devices in Reason. There's a link down below to download it. Okay, let's jump in. So the first way to do auto pan in Reason is really to not do auto pan, but to automate the mixer. So let's just edit, right click on this pan knob on the mixer, hit edit automation. And then what you can do is hold down, select this pen tool or pencil tool, draw in a area on the, draw in an area on the relevant channel. We'll stretch it out, blow it up. And now we can draw in some automation to do whatever it is that we want to do. So let's listen to this. You can even add some curves to it. So it does it faster or slower. You can do some really far out stuff. The next method will work on certain devices that have their own internal routing for LFOs and pan and things like that. So the best example of this and the most straightforward is the Dr. Octorex. Let's clear this automation out. So now we're just going to hear the regular drum loop again. And what I want to do is go down here to the LFO section. This basically chooses this type of LFO or the shape of the LFO over here. And whether it's tempo synced, the speed at which it spins or oscillates, uh, how much, how big the oscillation is. And then this last thing basically is the destination. What is this LFO affecting? And one of the choices is pan. So if we do this now, let's listen. So that's one way of doing automation is using the internal device routings. And sometimes it's really simple like this. Not every device is going to have an internal routing, but other times you might have to use the mod matrix to do it. So this is like 2.5 version. So let's say we've got this Europa here. If I just hit a chord on it. But now if we go down to LFO three, for example, which is right here, we can use this matrix LFO three, the destination, let's make it instead amplifier pan. And the amount that we'll do this by is 100 just to make it really noticeable. So now let's see what happens if I hold down the chord. And if we want, we can make that a lot faster. And we can shape, change the shape of the LFO. We can also make it so that it waits a little bit until it pans. Or we can have it sync to the beat. And to when I, for pers every time I hold down a key or hit a new key, it can re-trigger with key sync. So. And if we were to turn it off, this is what it would sound like. Oops, that would be the opposite of off. So it sounds much more interesting. There already actually is a little bit on this already with Engine 3 to pan, but this is the full on synth to pan. Um, not every, like I said, not every synth in Reason has this mod matrix, and even not every mod matrix allows you to adjust pan, but a lot of them might. So another way you can do this now is to use external routing. 
And I think this is perhaps the best way to do it. So here what we can do is insert something like a pulsar or any other external LFO. Uh, and you don't actually need to use it as an insert. I could just have it thrown over here, wherever I want it. Um, but then what you would do is hit tab to flip things over. You need to, on your mix channel, click the show insert effects section. Here you'll notice there is a section for pan. And then you can drag the output of LFO1 into the pan CAV input. This knob will control how much the signal affects the pan. And now if we hit play, we should have, we'll turn the level down, which means how extreme it is, and then we'll build it up. And if we increase the speed. Add some shuffle. And then with something like Pulsar, you could do gate triggers. You could even have this second um, LFO combine so that you've got this even more far out sound, which will kind of slowly shift it over time. So in short, those are three ways you can automate panning in Reason. And then obviously there's a lot of pan plugins you can buy that are super powerful, like Pan Man from uh, Sound Toys is a great one. Uh, there's a lot of other options out of there. You know, there's the rotor LF, uh, like uh, Leslie speaker emulation. There's all sorts of different options out there, but hopefully this is at least a few free ways to get started panning things in Reason. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget that free reason cheat sheet and be sure to check out this video on and be sure to check out this next video because I think it's going to be really helpful.